During the winter time in Fairbanks, there is only four hours of sunlight during the day. That is going to change the chemistry of the pollution in the atmosphere. So in January of 2022, I arrived in Fairbanks with 50 other scientists from all over the, the world to study air pollution in cold and dark conditions. We want to understand how pollution change is going from outdoors to indoors, since we have such a temperature differences from outdoor to indoors. So outdoors can be minus 40 degrees, and then indoors is like 72 Fahrenheit. And we don't know how the pollution is going to change from this temperature change. To be able to ship it was a little bit of a challenge. I had to disassemble some stuff and put in different crates. When I got there, everything was perfect. Everything came out. My instrument can quantify and identify these compounds and tells which phase these compounds are. If it is in the gas phase, in the particle phase, and that matters because that's gonna affect you from the chemistry and also our health. That was pretty heartwarming. It gave me an energy to like continue doing what I'm doing. More important than getting data and publishing papers and getting your name out there is actually help people and then make, it, make changes to improve our lives and that's the main goal. So when you have this contact, constant contact with the community, it keeps you, keeps reminding you why we're doing this and the real reason. So when I first heard that I would be involved in this project in Alaska, I was a little bit concerned. Uh, I'm Brazilian, so I grew up in a tropical country. So I was a little bit concerned to go to Alaska during the winter time when it was dark and cold. After the study was over, I actually took a time off to travel around Alaska to explore and get to know the people as well and what they do and also get to know the environment outside work. It definitely improved my experiences as a scientist that's going to help me look at my data in a different way and have a different sort of attachment to my work. So it was, it was just very, a very rewarding trip. <laughs>